Um, we had a great pre-fish. Uh, pre we concentrated on the upper lakes, um, mainly on Butamore. Pulling cranks, uh, we had some of our teammates pulling harnesses as well. Cranks seemed to produce some bigger fish. We're trolling in the mud out there. There's a good bug hatch going on, obviously, with bugs flying all over. And uh, we got into some really nice big females and some other, you know, solid fish. So our plan today is to try to duplicate what we did in our pre-fish, run the same patterns, and, um, you know, hoping those fish stick in those, those main areas again. And weight? Um, I would say our heaviest weight during the pre-fish was around 18 to 19 pounds. Um, you know, so today, uh, you know, if we if we get somewhere in that 16 to 19 pound range, I, I think we'll be sitting good. I, I wouldn't count it out if we hit somewhere around 20. But um, again, that's if we can get a couple of those big kickers to go along with the part of the fish. Okay. Right now, um, we're actually heading up the river towards from Bago up to Butamore. Obviously there comes a little bit of a time strategy element here. We are, I guess, burning a little bit more time to get to our spot, but it's going to be worth it. Ah, oh, we've been in about five minutes and we've got a 17 and a half. We're, uh, our game plan, obviously, is to get our five and uh, continue to try and upgrade after that. But once you get those five in the box, it takes a little load off the shoulder. So uh, I got it on a uh, number five fire tiger 20 feet back. Good start. banged a nice 20 and a quarter right on top of our hot spot that we've been getting all our big fish so gives us four in the box so far and it's uh, 8 30 so plenty of time to grind these fish out all right we uh, just set up on our third pass we got our five fish in the box now two of them are 20 inches or a little bit better um, so it's completely an upgrade game now um, from here on out just to try and increase that basket. So, got a feeling that uh, as the water warms up a little bit better, these fish are gonna turn on like they did yesterday and we'll get into those big females that are moving down. Going to, uh, we're getting everything on Fire Tiger right now. So, I'm going from a number five to a number seven in hopes of trying to just possibly get something a little bit bigger. It's worth a shot. We got a double going right now. Both seem to be relatively nice fish. That's fine. So, Yeah. That's two big fish back to back yeah. like that. What do you think? 
Boy, that was a big fish. We just went over a, a school of big females, just got a 23, and the one that popped off right at the back of the boat was a solid 25 or 26. So we're going to crank up and go right over that spot again. That's why we came up here. We're gonna pick up. We're gonna pick up John and go over there again. That's the same exact spot that we had the, the double the big ones on. solid fish, got one about 28 inches, had one on it about 26 about the same time. That one came on button, but I think we got a pretty good basket. Uh, basically just trolled um, clicker shads all day. Kind of kept up and down with our heights anywhere from 12 feet to 25 feet. And just adjusted from there. Using with John Van Norman, five fish, that seems to be the going rate today. Yeah. Well, it went pretty good this morning. We uh, had a plan to go pull harnesses all, all day in the mud. It's kind of a tough thing to do early in the year. The water temperature is only, only 65 degrees, but we thought, hey, why not? So we pulled harnesses all morning. And before that wind picked up, we caught all our fish at about 11 o'clock. The bike quit. And when that wind got to be 25 to 30 miles an hour, which it was this afternoon, we never caught another fish. We had a great morning. Uh, pulling harnesses out in the mud. Um, after that, it was pretty tough. Usually, power speed was a mile an hour, 1.3. Um, when the waves picked up, we'd surge too fast. It would be two, two miles an hour, but um, about one, one, three was, was the best speed. Okay, and um, was there a particular color that was working better? or? Uh, not really. It was, um, we threw everything. We had chartreuse beads with chartreuse blades, and we had purple beads with purple beads. Blades and we had red beads with purple blade. It, it didn't seem to matter. We, you know, we sorted through fish. We threw back 18s all day long because we weren't going to keep anything unless it was 20 inches, and it worked out. Uh, it was 
uh, pretty good in the morning, and then uh, later on when the wind picked up, we couldn't uh, get nothing. So by 11 o'clock, we had all our fish. Did it take till 11 to get all five? Uh, no, we had some small ones, a couple small ones we, we threw back in, and we caught nine fish total. Ball, so yeah. Okay. Um, it, was, um, it, was, it was going good at, in the beginning. We had a couple fish right away, but then it, the wind picked up and it slowed down, then we had to uh, change our strategy a little bit. And, and we picked up uh, three more right away. So. Okay. Were you guys on Lake Winnebago, or did you go upriver? We were up in Poygan. Okay. Um, hot baits? Jinx. <laughs> okay. Cane, fishing the cane, and we got a couple out in the deeper stuff, but you know, the, out in the middle of the lake. But trolling, yeah. The better ones but came in the cane. The better ones came in the cane. Started off good. Uh, a couple minutes into it, I caught one that I boxed, a uh, 20 incher. And then I was wondering if that was going to hurt me. And then I uh, caught a 19. Yeah, after we... I caught one 19. And I threw that back, and I was wondering if that was going to hurt me. And then uh, I got that 27 incher. So then I knew the females were there. So then I just kept throwing everything back unless they were 20. Okay. And um, where were you fishing? Uh, I was on the river. You were on the river, okay. And. Um, what were you doing, jigging, trolling? Oh, I was dragging live bait. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure you'd love to have your brother here for this, oh, yeah. you know. Um, but how does it feel to been able to pull this off? Feels like I'm dreaming. It really does. It's like uh, feels like I'm gonna wake up and have to go fish a tournament. <laughs> the big one. When you saw that one, you know, over seven pounds coming in, what were you thinking? Well, actually, that's the first fish that I've hooked <clears throat> that has gone straight down the river. It was actually, I had to give it line. And it was, we didn't catch too many junk fish, so I had a feeling it might be a big walleye. So, and when you saw that head come up? I can remember the eyeball. It was the, one of the biggest eyeballs I've seen on a walleye. It was just uh, it's a pretty sight. And once it hit the Florida boat? Let's get another one. <laughs>